We currently know the surfaces of the Moon and Mars better than we know our own ocean floor. Yet the shape and texture of the seabed has an influence on a variety of ocean processes. It affects tides and currents, which guide the movement of pollutants in the oceans and seas. The seabed provides habitats for marine species and plays a role in spawning areas, information which is useful for initiatives aimed at protecting biodiversity. It plays a role in ocean circulation, which in turn has an impact on the climate and the atmosphere. With up-to-date data, countries can refine and improve the accuracy of climate change models. It also determines the speed of tremor and tsunami wave propagation, knowledge which can be used to implement warning systems and protect populations. Thanks to international cooperation and progress in technology, we are in a situation where we could succeed in mapping the ocean within a decade. In addition to nautical charts and safety of navigation, this information could be used by all ocean stakeholders, providing baseline data to monitor changes. As a sign of the importance of this, national hydrographic offices collaborating under the umbrella of the IHO gather hydrographic and oceanographic data which is getting increasingly more accurate thanks to progress in technology. All of this knowledge can help ensure that initiatives for the sustainable use of the ocean, such as the UN Ocean Decade as Sustainable Development Goals, are targeted and effective. Recent endeavors have shown that concerted actions to increase our knowledge of the oceans can provide results very quickly. Thanks to citizen science, crowdsourcing and initiatives such as the IHO IOC UNESCO JEBCO program and its Nippon Foundation Jebco Seabed 2030 project, we have progressed from having a map of 6% of the oceans in 2017 to 21% in 2021. There's still much to discover, but each effort provides new insight into the world below the surface. <laughs>